Hi, good morning. Nana here. I am now conducting training on fusion procurement. And it is an implementation training. And so what happens? You will become an implementer by the time you complete this course. We would like to have a look at what exactly I am going to cover on this now. Right, let me go on and share my screen now. Have a look at it. So this is the agenda for this training. So it will be approximately for 20 hours. Uh, if you conduct it for one hour, it will be for 20 days basically. And then uh, EBIS will be compared at every stage and then it will be shown to you. So that what happens, you will be able to have a real time comparison of how exactly the fusion has evolved from EBIS. So this begins with the creation of an enterprise structure. And then what happens? I will be creating an implementation project. And then I will now create a what's called a system. And then uh, I will now do the configuration of the system. And then afterwards, locations are created. Then from the financial spread, the legal jurisdiction, legal authority, legal address, everything will be created. And then finally, the legal entity will also be created. And then uh, we will now create the chart of accounts. And then finally, we'll end up in creating the ledger also. So once when the financials are now completed, it's skeleton financials will be taught to you about how to create. And then the ELD and then the ledger will be linked together. And then finally, we'll now review and then submit it. So by which what happens? The financials will be set now. On this created financial structure, we are going to set up procurement. Basically. So we'll now get the business unit. And then I will now assign the business unit business functions. And then we'll now explain you about what exactly is the reference data set object. And then uh, what do you mean by managed service providers and service clients will be explained to you. And then after completing this business unit activity, I will now jump into inventory. In which what happened, the facility shifts, workday patterns and schedules will be created. And then finally, the inventory master and child are created. Then we jump into HRMS and then create the jobs, the department, the positions, and the departments. And then we will now assign the roles to them. Then we jump into uh, what's called your procure, your purchasing actually. So the purchasing activity will now begin with the product and child value set creations. The key flux space for catalogs will be fully explained and then it will all be fully set now. Then the balance setups for the suppliers or the purchase procurement will be done with the supplier numbering and then the task configuration, supplementary funding options, payment terms, carrier terms, etc. etc. will be done. And then finally, what happens? We come into the managed life cycle phases and then item statuses will be done. So here we create the item statuses. And then uh, we do a financial options one, a common options is equivalent to financial options for payables of procurement. And then repositioning and then the procurement business function. So once when these things are set, what happens? The instance becomes ready for constructing the procurement basically. Then I will now explain you about what exactly is a function in data security for the item. So that the item is created. And then I will now show you about how the requisition creation fails because what happens is we are not given the charge, accrual, and variance amounts. So that will be given through the manage mapping set now. So once when that is done, what happens is we get created. And then there are six ways of approval as far as requisition is concerned. One is auto approval, approval by a worker, approval group, job level, supervisor level, and then the position level. So all the six levels will be demonstrated to you. And then afterwards, there are four ways of charging the, populating the charge amount, one for the asset item, <coughs> one for the expense item, one for the service items, and then one for the category level over it, everything will be explained to you. And then <coughs> demo of charge account for the expense and service items in the requisition also will be shown to you. Then afterwards, this completes the requisition part, and then afterwards, what happens will not get a supplier. And then purchase order creation will fail because what happens, the accrual account is not set, and that will be set, and again, it will be like so a standard purchase order will be shown. Then what happens? CPA, SPO combination will be demonstrated in EBIS basically. And then afterwards it will be demonstrated in, <coughs> in Fusion also with the PR, CPA, SPO combination. Then afterwards the BR, BPA, BR, blanket purchase agreement, blanket will be shown with the auto creation of a PR to PO in EBIS. And then the same will be repeated in Fusion actually. So you can now see about how exactly the functionalities are now retained in Fusion as such. Then we come into the receiving and then we'll now do the direct standard inspection to the floating connections, return suppliers, substitute items, etc. etc. All these things will be done. And then finally, what happens? We'll now set up the payables and then we open the periods GL and AP. And then uh, we don't have any periods in uh, inventory or purchasing, so fortunate. So we'll now open the GL and AP periods and then we'll now see the evaluated result settlement and then debit them on RTS will be shown to you. And then uh, different ways of uh, invoice numbering will be shown to you. Then afterwards, costing will be fully set up and then it will be the one also. And then to end with, what happens, we'll be having a data migration for item import, stock import, and then PO import, and then supplier import. There are plenty of imports are available here. So these four will be demoed, and then based upon which what happens, you can even perform the other imports as and when is required. So once when you undergo this training, what happens, you'll now become fully 
uh, ready for implementing a project. Now, find that much of a knowledge will be given to you as far as the procurement is concerned. I am now contacting it. This is my uh, contact number and this is the mail ID. And then uh, my batch cost is certificate. And then uh, uh, the maximum participants in the batch is 100. So if you can arrange more, what happens? Uh, the per uh, share will be very low. Basically. In fact, I had a batch in which what happened? There were 30 participants. It is peanuts for them. Basically. So try to bring in more people and then uh, uh, contact me. Uh, so that what happens, you can, you'll be able to enjoy this uh, real training and then uh, my training will be really in-depth and then what happens, it will make you fully ready for implementation of this fusion procurement. Now. Fine, thank you. And I hope to see you soon in a training program now. This is Nana and then I hope that you enjoyed my <laughs> introduction to my fusion procurement. Thank you. We'll see you soon in a training program.